Uh, I just want a Picasso in my cock. What's that? The hot track, the hot track right uh, now. We got, we got a hot track right now called Get Rich. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a motivating track. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like a lot of people don't put a lot of motivating music in, you know, a lot of motivating lyrics in their music right now, but I do. That's good. Got to motivate people. Yeah, That's because yeah. I, cause I was young once and I was, you know, grinding once and I needed that motivation. We are with Elijah Blake looking fly. What is this? I'm trying to be fresh for you. Look, they keep asking me. I wish I had a, you know, I don't go to stores and look at the brands. I'm not a name whore. Uh, so I literally look at something on the rack and be like, that's fly. I put it on. So I wish I could tell you. Your whole style, you just you, you. You went through evolution, but you're doing good. Yeah, you? yeah. I just dress how I feel. Right. And I want to look like the music. The music is fun. It's, it's not so serious. It's honest. It's true. And that's how I feel. Yeah. And you just had an album release. June, yeah, June 23rd, this Tuesday, Shadows and Diamonds is in stores. Check that out. You've been awarded for numerous things. You've been to yes. multiple music celebrations. What's, <laughs> what's important about ASCAP? Why is it important to you? Um, as an ASCAP writer, it's very, very important to support the society. Um, I remember the first time Groundstone signed up for it uh, with Alonzo Robinson, like several, several years ago. And it's just something wonderful to sort of teach us about you know the importance of being a songwriter being important the importance of understanding that that's where a large portion of your income will come from in your career so it's great to be here to support an organization that always supports artists we are with the amazing jasmine sullivan with the beautiful boys how are you doing this evening i'm good i'm great okay just one quick question you know we're honoring lauren hill tonight everybody's musical icon so to speak what does this mean for you to be here tonight and witness that i'm so honored um that i can come and show her how much she means to me and, and just music period because um you know her impact was 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 great and i want her to know that i'm glad she's getting this recognition so what what inspires you when you're writing what does it take you to sit down and, and knock out this amazing song life yeah life you know the good the bad the ugly mm -hmm. the passion and the emotion of just living and existing in this world Definitely. that's so changing so shifting mm -hmm. so as it shifts and i glean from it or i grow from it i just express it and put my pen to paper and write from it so okay. It doesn't get any better than that. We have the beautiful Michelle Williams. Congratulations on your awards. Thank Say you. Yes is my favorite gospel song right now. Oh, thank you, darling. Please tell me just really quickly, how did that inspire you, that song, Say Yes? Um, Say Yes, the chorus is actually an old Nigerian song, actually, and um, we added verses to it. And um, it's just my declaration. It encourages me, like, you know, God got me. I'm good, you know? Absolutely. When you say yes, what you gonna do? Right. Nothing. <laughs> What, what inspires your passion? It was just the love. I felt like when I was playing basketball, I always had the love to write. I always had, but I would keep it inside, keep it inside. And after a while, you don't got no more room to keep it in, and it just starts coming out. And I got to the point where, like, injuries started to happen, and I would write more. And so I just got to the point where I felt like people could learn from a lot of the stuff that I was writing and going through in life, because my life has been so public. I felt like people can really learn from a lot of my experiences. And so I just felt it was time to share my gift with the world.